Festival in London, sponsored by London Laurel Tourism. All right, I've got a special guest here for Guest Weather. This is actually my dad, Rocky. Uh, dad, what's the weather like here? Uh, rainy, a little bit dreary, but everybody's having a great time. Oh, uh, come out to the Chicken Festival. The weather is 60% rain tonight, 60% tomorrow, but the temperature will be in the 60s and 70s, so it'll be a great day. You might want to bring an umbrella. Well, enjoying a little chicken in the rain. That's it. <laughs> well, I'd like to say it's uh, we're at the Chicken Festival here. It's a little bit rainy outside. Um, I would say it's um, got some clouds overhead. Not much sun. You can still see out here, though. It wouldn't be the Chicken Festival without the rain. A lot of folks down in London know that. Lots of other things going on this weekend, too. Mountain Heritage, Hatfield, McCoy, all kinds of things. Tonight, the rain has calmed down just a little bit off to our north and to our west. Now online, pinpoint Doppler radar. Heavier bands of rain back up into central Kentucky, but the good news is this is moving away. Temperatures taking a dip overnight. Back into the upper 50s for most locations there. Now in Jackson, 58 there. Paintsville as well. 61 in Ashland, London, Harlan, 59 in Somerset. 63 in Middlesbrough, 50. 57 down toward Wise at this hour. So again, you see all that rain pushing off to the north. That's not going to last. Unfortunately, there is a big low pressure system off to our south and east, and you can see it churning all this moisture back up toward us. So what's that mean? We're going to continue to see all this push through our area over the next several days. Unfortunately, this is the beginning. I said earlier to some of the coworkers here that I think I brought the rain back with me when I come in to fill in for Shane tonight, but you see the rain chances linger throughout the overnight hours. Unfortunately, the daytime hours tomorrow only in the low 70s. So if you're heading out to some of those festivals, some of the college football games, it's going to be a fairly nice feeling day, but you'll need that rain gear. And unfortunately, as we take you through the seven day forecast, that trend continues all the way into next week. It does look like, though, Monday and Tuesday, fairly dry temperatures only getting into the upper 70s as we head toward October on Thursday. Slight chances lingering there. We're going to continue to see those rain chances very low at times, but again, keep that rain gear handy all week long. But after that, I think temperatures are going to drop a little bit more, maybe into the low 70s and upper 60s by the end of next weekend for daytime highs, maybe even some 40s for some overnight lows. So, and let's do the time warp again. Brandon <laughs> Robinson. In I the snuck house. in the back door. <laughs> I didn't think we let you in here anymore. Well, I had to ring the doorbell. And security had to buzz me through, sure, but sure. you know how it goes. But uh, well, glad to be back filling in. Well, good to have you, sir. Always a pleasure. Absolutely. All right. Well,